Hey. Yep, that's mine. The decaf. Just on the tray with the toast is great. Thank you. I'll grab it from you. Cheers. Have a great day. Sun is looking delicious today. If they give you any shit about working late, just give me a call and I'll set them right. <laughs> oh. Fuck. God damn it. Well, there goes the good morning I was going to have. Nearly did the split. <laughs> like Bambi on ice out here. God, Bambi on ice with a hole in their damn pants. God, shit. You didn't get any on you, did you? It's boiling hot. Good, good. Um, <laughs> No, 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 it's okay. Don't don't worry about it. I know everyone well here. I'll get the staff to bring the mops and sort it out. Wait, wait, wait a second. Hey, yeah, I know you. I'll never forget a pretty face. First day of school last week. You're the, uh, the, the um, the, the new kindergarten teacher. My boys are going there this year. We just moved over from the far side of town. They talked about you at dinner a couple days ago. Flattering things only, of course, of course. Yeah, they only spilled half your secrets. All the ones you'd never want a stranger to know. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh oh, it, uh, it sucks. This was our first introduction, but... I guess things can only get better from here. I'm good at making things up to a girl. I'm not going to rush to the nearest florist and get the biggest set of roses, but... Um... You on your lunch break? Yeah? I'll get you another. It's it's on me. I was being a clumsy doofus. <laughs> not looking where I was going. Yeah, of course. I've got you. Hey, could I get another one of those and, uh... Latte for her? Sugar? Sweet, thanks. If we stay for another, you got the next round, right? <laughs> Guess we'll see depending how good your banter is and how much caffeine we need. I'm a hard man to please with a very visible pant split and coffee down my coat. <laughs> so, yeah, how's the experience been so far? So... I don't want this to just be a one-way interrogation. Yeah, I'm not letting you off the hook. I gotta find out a little more about you. What made you move to the big city? You needed a bit more adventure. Hmm. Adventure is a broad term. What kind of adventure did you have in mind? New people, new places, new scares, new thrills. Well, you'll, you'll get that here, no doubt. Careful what you wish for. This city can be a cruel mistress. The full story? Me? Oh, it's a long one. 
<laughs> it's going to take a little more than a coffee meet for me to spill all the tea. There's a fair share of scandal, tragedy, comedy, the whole nine yards. There's not many people I let in on everything that has gone on with me. You sure you could handle it? I don't doubt you'd try. You look like the kind of woman who would try and match fire with fire, but... Mm, don't think you'd like everything you'd hear. Is that a bet? What makes you so sure of yourself? Hmm. I like that. I've never met a kindergarten teacher with such a stride to her step. A pep in her words. You're a whole lot of something, aren't you? <clears throat> Listen, I gotta head back to work myself, but this was a lot of fun. It's rare to meet someone so... Different. See you at school sometime. It was nice meeting you. We should bump into each other a little more often. Who knows what could happen. Hey, boys. <laughs> Come here. Good day. What are we talking? Two hours of playtime? Yeah. Nice. Hey, that's your favorite teacher, right? Just right over there? <laughs> All right. Hey, go wait in the car, guys. I'll be there in a second. I'll crack the windows for you. It's boiling out here. We meet again. Three days? Is that it? Huh. Honestly, it felt way longer. Time drags when you're pulled away from interesting people, doesn't it? Yeah, Range Rover. Got it last week. Needed something a little... sturdier. Something that handles better. I like revving it harder than I should and breaking a few rules I shouldn't on the road. Cutting drive times in half, you know. Well, speaking of trouble, how were the troublemakers today? No tantrums? <laughs> good, good. They start causing you any issues and I'm going to be on them. Oh, nice. You got a date? Oh, oh, wow. My bad. I had no idea you played. But you're single? I'm just surprised. You're single? girl like you steps in as a kindergarten teacher in a new city. I figured all the sex-starved dads would be lusting after you pretty hard. Hell, everyone should be. Well. Their loss. You wear a sundress very well, by the way. Yeah, it's not the only observation I could make, but I'm sticking with it. It's not just an observation, actually. It's a compliment. 
You wear it very fucking well. You aren't a statement piece. Hmm. Well, I think you're making a very bold statement, miss. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get these brats back home before they start getting cranky. Yeah. Come on over. The twins are away with friends this weekend. Saturday evening. Play date and a little sleepover. Them. I mean, <laughs> not us. For us? I'm thinking a little conversation. A little flirting. Nothing too heavy. We've got some things left over from the coffee shop to discuss. Oh, we gotta stop making plans like this. People are gonna think we're dating. <laughs> See you then. Well, hello. I feel very underdressed. You're showing me up on my doorstep. That's not fair play. Come on in. Let me, uh, let me get your coat and jacket. Kick the heels off if you want. Just wherever you like. So you gotta drive back, but I think half a glass of wine is all right, right? Little glass, baby glass. <laughs> Pick your poison. I've got red, rosé, white. Oh, going straight to red. Good girl. A woman after my own heart. I'm a whiskey man myself, if you couldn't tell. Cheers. To new friends, new acquaintances. <sighs> Couch is all ours. Countertop is super messy at the moment. You get a couple of toddlers causing havoc here, and this is what you get. You gotta admit, I was still thinking about that sundress you had on from a few days ago. Yeah, no kidding. Just the right amount of teas for the lucky guy, whoever he may be. Left enough to the imagination. You wear it just for me? Oh, I like that. You gonna wear it around me more often? Mm. I like everything about that. What are you reading at the moment? Yeah, I'm serious. I can see the book in your bag. You don't seem like the carry a thick book around to appear clever, pseudo-intellectual type. Hit me with it. What's the premise? You've got my attention, young lady. Hmm. 
Mm. Interesting plot. Okay, okay, I hear you. Yeah, I think I'm getting it. Hmm. A small town girl getting caught up in something she can't quite control. Sounds familiar. I can't quite place it. The love interest? Who's he? A single dad. Mm. Damn. That sounds kind of spicy. Oh, wait. I think I know where I've seen that before. Have you got to that part of the book yet? No. Sometimes it's good to skip a few chapters. Sometimes you just wish these writers would get right to the point. Hmm. Fuck. Well, if they can't do it, I'll just sabotage the book myself. 